All right, guys, we got a new MIUI Mint E.14.0.10 update for Redmi Note 10. And in this video, I will gonna tell you what you are getting in this, what do you say, MIUI 14.0 ROM and how it performs to your Redmi Note 10. So if you are new to this channel and watch content regarding to these, then you must watch this video until the last and then decide to use it or not. It comes with various type of customizations and best performance that you can't get in your Indian MIUI. So let's get started to the video. So first of all, this is the about device section of your device. And now you can see that it is based on MIUI Mint E display. You can see that every details aspect is being mentioned over there. And it has been nice to see that it is having the latest security update and the MIUI version is Mint E 14.0.1 GXMI XM version. It is based on China version and you get all the things and here you got the pixel experience kernel. You can change to West Coast super fast kernel and at, in the pixel experience kernel you are not getting much of the smoothness but if you flash West Coast super fast kernel you will get much more good what do you say smoothness over there. And now let's talk about the, what we are getting the customization for there. This is the status bar style you can arrange like if I select this dual clock 5. Now you can see there here you get the Android 12 widget support also there and here's the double clock support also there. Here's the default option over there also and you can see that the default is working but I like default 3 and dual style 3 and dual style 5. Now this is the overall what do you say settings UI look and you can see that it is based on full monet UI. It works on the what do you say fully if you change the wallpaper right now I am having this green wallpaper and you can see the how it performs and looks now let us try to talk about sim card and mobile i haven't faced any issue i am using it with my geo sim card and haven't saw, saw any type of issues the wi-fi calling is working perfectly fine over there this is the wallpaper and personalizations option here you can see that aod is also being there and the battery this is a display item time you can enable for always but it consumes the battery too much now this is the library option you get the bunch of wallpapers over here you can get your wallpapers from here is the my wallpapers option over there and I would gonna recommend you to don't use any super wallpapers because it creates lag you don't have a high end processor to your device to use fully GPU and this is where the display options it comes needs no customizations for the display option this is the home screen option and here you got much more options what do you say sorry here in the settings you get the home screen option here you get the default launcher options also there with the icons in settings there is much more options over there you can select the animation speed to balanced and relaxed if you just select the relaxed and now you can see that it performs damn good results and now this time we gonna see gesture support over gesture navigation you can enable if you swipe up uh, gesture cons confirmation is been there if you took it for very long time it will switch to another application now you get the all the things here is the unlimited home screen layout that i don't know who gonna, gonna try but i'm not gonna try because i'm gonna faint over this and this is the monet search bar style option is also there you can select more monet and transparent search bar option is there rounded there is folders option also been there here's a rounded super icons option two available and you can select the arranged items in recent like ios you can increase or decrease the, its size and from there you can see that its size has been increased and decreased and you can see that it performs damn great now let's talk about what do you say portrait task size and in this if you have any sort of issues you get the restart launcher options now that is being good for that devices and now this is the password and security option you can see that i am using the both once uh, face and fingerprint and the fingerprint is does performs well now if i just extend that you can see that and there is a new unlock animation if i just put that uh, fingerprint over there and you can see that there is a new animation over there it feels super cool what do you say if i generally unlock with my what do you say password word and you can see that new animation unlocking as you can see there now uh, i have took some of the what do you say benchmarks also but before proceeding to that 
there is not much more anything given over there is the additional settings comes out and there is a, all the uh, settings that we are present in the indian mi is given over there there is not much of the things available now if you talk about the call recording status yeah it does have call recording status if i do a general call over there there is a call recording option and you don't have to get any sort of what you say google dialer announcement now i have took the benchmark results so let us move forward to see what kind of benchmarks and performance that this were opting to our device and what it feels to be done now this is the files app and i have took the screenshots everything and uh, here the screenshots option you can see that this is the slingshot extreme test of 3.2 and this is scores 1472 and it has best 55 fps score which means the 60 fps works fine if you just change the pixel experience kernel to west coast super fast it increases that fps also this is a single core score and and this is where the multi core 1586 score that is damn good i haven't tried geekbench 6 but i am listening from many persons that it is best so this is the cpu throttling test at 100 thread for 15 minutes and you can see that the max is 163 gips and minimum is 119 gips it performs a damn great scores over there and those who ask me about safety and status yes it does pass or not let us see i am running this test currently live on the video and you can see that that it's been passed so it's nice to see that the safety net status does pass all around no issues if you ask me about the drm info yeah i have also took the drm info and now you from here you can see that l1 certification is also been present over the drm certifications now uh, i have talked about these things i already talked about the geekbench also there is nothing new more to talk about in this room you get this folder super folder icons and if you want to customize it you just need to tap over the edit folder you can tap enlarge double excel or regular and you can do check that out according to your preference and you can see there is the animation and there is a dog super icon you can see that super widgets is also been there you can see that it is working and it looks damn good and you can switch it off over from here you get many of the widgets over there and this were the monet support of the google bar as you can see that it has supported the both from, and you get this type of widget also over there this is the control center and from here you can see that the control center is so good so i have talked each and every aspect of this what do you say mui 14.0.1 rom you if you use the banking apps and you have not much amount of money then you must consider using this port rom of the mui mint and if you have lots of money i'm not going to recommend to use this rom or any custom rom sort of so if you really did enjoyed watching this video please give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe that button and press the bell notification icon icon to get the videos when i will post that so thanks for watching videos till then bye bye stay safe